Hello everyone, and welcome to Freedom Fighters 2127. This is probably going to be the last report for tonight. We'll start again at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh my, that's all i got to say. Check this out. This is the uh, market watch. These are the Dow, uh, the uh, Asia. Asia Dow is down 56. The Nike 225 is down 386. Hang Sen is down 450, 468, excuse me, just changed. Shanghai is down 19. Sensex is down 336. Singapore is down 40. That's bloody. Folks, I'm not trying to scare you into doing anything with this. I hope that you use ju your good judgment, and because I know I'm going to use my good judgment, and I'm not going to try and run and, 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 you know, just freak out and panic. Just let's keep a calm head as we go into this. Let's, let's pray first. Heavenly Father, we come to you through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. And we ask, Lord, for forgiveness of our sins, debts, and trespasses. Lord, we know that your cup is full of wrath, and it's ready to pour, and it's overflowing. And we ask, Lord, that you please spare us one day that we might be saved from the judgment or from uh, the wrath of you. That maybe, maybe, just maybe, we are worthy. Thank you, Lord, again. As you said in 1 John, you said that we could be forgiven if we turned from our wicked ways and repented. Lord, we ask that you continue to give us the strength to go on every day. In Jesus' name, we cast out all forms and shapes and figures and shadows of anxiety, fear, and doubt. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Here we go, folks. Matt Drudge. If you guys follow the Drudge Report, um, he does quite a heavy stuff. He's pretty good at all this stuff. He has quite a bit of inside scoop. Um, if you'll notice, this is his Twitter page. Um, he has 246,000 followers, 283 as well. Um, take a look at this right here. January 24th is when this was posted. I didn't see it. I don't usually follow Twitter. I've only gotten on it recently because I can't really... It, it, it's, I've got to keep up with it, and Twitter's the fastest way to do it. He says four words, and my mind went nuts when I heard this. Have an exit plan. Let it sink in for a sec. And you're like, what does that mean? What does that mean? What is he portraying to? He's portraying to the economy. Let me show you this again. This is going to carry over, and it's going to be horrendous. I've read quite a few articles tonight, and I've been trying to figure out which ones to put into this because I don't want to do too many. I'm just going to try and keep it short because I'm going to be short videos and short recordings, but have an exit plan. It's coming. This week will change everything. I'm pretty positive this week will change everything. In fact, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm 100, almost 100% sure that this week is going to change quite a bit. It'll start today, 127, 2014, and end on, or this will be the first domino. Let me put it that way. And the first domino will be over right around February 2nd or February 4th. Let's go on to the next thing here. Airlines halt tickets sales in Venezuela. The panic that's on these people's faces. Have an exit plan. Tempers flared at airline offices in Caracas, Caracas on Friday as Venezuelans reacted angrily to international carriers' refusal to sell tickets after the government devalued the Bolivar for flights abroad. The offices of American Airlines, Delta, United, and Panama's Copa were all either closed or had halted sales for several hours on Friday, as the higher exchange rate took effect, adding to uncertainty as carriers tried to collect $3.3 billion they say they're owed by the socialist government. That is insane. People are trying to get out of the country or get home. What do you do? You lock it down. That's something that will probably take place in America. This is something else coming this week. Farm Bill could come to vote this week in the in-house. A lot is coming this week, folks. A lot. Let me go back to this before I go to that. Next up for markets. Apple. Fed meeting. Raft of data. I read you that um, the quote earlier in the, uh, in the forum. That's right. He said it's not going to matter what the Fed is going to do. I, that's his words, not mine. Not mine. So we will see. I don't think 
it's we're going to ever recover from this. This is the controlled collapse, and here we go. The first domino is being, it's like uh, waving, and it's about to fall over. That's what I see in my in my mind. Let's go back to this. Farm bill could come to vote this week in House. Capitol Hill negotiators were working Sunday on a plan to complete the continuous uh, farm bill in the House with a final chamber vote as early as Wednesday, Fox News has learned. Renewing the five-year, roughly $500 billion measure has stalled in Congress largely over the House and Senate disagreeing about cuts to its $80 billion food stamps program. Crap. I'm not on food stamps, but I pray for all of you that are. However, a compromise has purported, purportedly have been reached that calls for roughly $9 billion in cuts over a decade. The original Senate bill called for a $4 billion last June. The House rejected a $20 billion cut as not being enough and could only approve a plan with $40 billion in cuts. It's a lot of people getting cut off of food. You can only push the American groups and American people so far. With all this going on, I'm serious. Keep pushing. We'll push back. Markets falling, which, is, which means it's time for the U.S. to bomb a sovereign nation. After the worst week, this was posted uh, 126 today. After the worst week for the market in over a year, the U.S. knows the drill. Must distract population. And if a drunk driving... Um, Miley Cyrus Canadian look-alike on a work visa won't do the trick, then by all means resort to ye old faithful bombing the f feces out of some independent nation, in this case, Somalia. Comedy News Network reports that earlier today the U.S. conducted a missile strike in southern Somalia. The target, a senior leader affiliated with Al-Qaeda and Al-Shabaab. Al-Qaeda's affiliate in, Som in Somalia, supposedly this is the Al-Qaeda that the U.S. isn't officially funding and supporting in Qatar's desperate and ongoing attempt to push its pipeline under Syria. Yeah. That's what, that's what America does. I'm tired of it. One day all the countries are going to turn around and say, you know what, you're the problem. Oh, that's already happening. What are we at, like 78 wars all around the globe? RT reported on that a while ago. I can't remember the exact amount, but I know we're at a, quite a few wars, and we're about to be at more. Have an exit plan. That's all I got to say, too. Thank you, everybody, for checking in. I was trying my best to keep you updated as the night progresses, as this week progresses, and as the rest of this year progresses. It is getting worse out. Let's close this out. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our safety. We thank you for everything that we have, the bed that we sleep on, the roof over our heads, the heat that we feel. We thank you so much for giving us a chance. Giving us a chance to, to live properly and be good to our neighbor and be good to others. Lord, we ask that you please come down and do a mighty battle on earth today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everybody, for checking in. Be safe and God bless.